I hereby call on June 26, 2023, a meeting of the Town of Hanson Planning Board to order at 6.30 p.m. I would also like to announce for all those in attendance that this meeting is being recorded, recorded for distribution on Whitman Hanson Community Access. Playback times and other related information on this recording can be found at whca.tv. And in attendance, we have Don Ellis, Kevin Cohen, and John Cummett. Absent, Paul Beninato, and, and um, John, I'm <laughs> sorry, yeah. And uh, Joe Kim, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm acting chair this evening, correct. So, uh, there's no public hearings this evening, so we're going to move right into 6.30 p.m. appointment, approval not required plan, Liberty Street and Stringer Lane, map 82, lot 1-2 and lot 14B, applicant Gary Lundgren, plan prepared by Land Planning Incorporated. I see that we have the applicant here. If you could uh, see your name for the record and uh, sure. tell us about the project. Gary Rice from Land Planning Inc. Also in attendance is Gary Lundgren, the owner of the property. Um, the two lots called out um, are one and two. Lot one having its frontage on Stringer Lane, and lot two having its frontage coming from Liberty Street. Both lots are uh, considered reach from Hammerhead lots or retreat lots, uh, where they have to have 40 feet of frontage, which they do, and also 40 foot width back to where the access area. And the lots have to have 80,000 square feet of land exclusive of the access area. So lot two created that lot, I, I, I kept that right at the minimum of 80,000, one extra square foot, and then the extra access area of 8593 makes a total lot two of 88,594. And lot one had the remaining land, so it's got a lot extra to it. It's roughly 2.737 acres, and it has an existing house that's under construction. As you can see, we show the proposed septic system for that house. The rest of the lot, lot two is vacant, all wooded pretty much. And there were no wetlands. I'm very surprised here. There's actually a lot in town without any wetlands on it. There's no wetlands on the lot. And what else we have here? The access for lot one, lot two. is on between 238 and 218. It was actually originally a retreat lot at one time, so that was already on record. The only line that's really added to the plan from the whole parcel being one is the line going across at 335.87, splitting the two lots. So it's actually, it looks as easy, but it wasn't as easy, but it does look like an easy one, one lot, one, one line, kind of right in half, there's the two lots. Can I ask a question? Oh yeah, go right ahead, John. John you, Cummins. You just asserted that there's no wetlands on site. Uh, can you tell me who would be what the scientist that is who made that determination? Well, we uh, actually have projects next door, and so we've done wetlands at a botanist out before to check the land next door. And my team, my survey team, and my engineer have been out here and walked the entire property. And they've been doing this for over 30 years, and they have a pretty good idea that there's no wetlands there. So to answer my question, you don't have a certified wetland scientist or a stamp from them stating that there's no wetlands there. Is that true? That is true. Okay, thank you. Any questions from the board? Don, I do. Don, go right on. The um, <clears throat> lot two on the access road going in. Yep. I see a... Uh, 15 foot wide access utility and grading easement. Right, that was there on the original plan, and so that's still being shown on that lot. Uh, I think we have a bylaw that on the retreat lots, all the utilities have to come in on the access road itself. 
Right, but we're not we're not proposing to use that. It's just existing. I'm just showing oh, that I'm okay. just showing that it goes across that lot. That's okay, that's, so that's not for the access. It might have been for in the old days, but we don't need it. Uh -huh. I mean, there's plenty of room because it's all because uh -huh. it's supposed to be in that. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. I, I really don't understand why that was on there to begin with. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just showed it anyway. Now, was there any uh, land bought from abutters to this? create this? Yes. No, this is all um, Gary's parcels. Oh, okay. So, his remaining land. Even, even the access before. from Stringer Lane? Uh, no, that was his. He had done a uh, land swap on a previous plan oh, all right. with a neighbor. And that's now obviously already been sold and gone through the registry process. Okay. Any other questions from the board? No? Town planner, any? I've gone through the checklist. Okay. And, uh, they have all the necessary required information on the plan. Okay. I'd entertain a, uh, a motion. Uh, before you move to your motion, yep. I'd like to ask a question. Is it true that we have 60 days to make a decision on this? 21. 21. So that's why this meeting is being called this evening. Mm -hmm. they, when they submitted, uh, the next meeting was scheduled for July the 10th, which would be the August 21 days. Mm -hmm. Not saying from, we don't have to approve this this evening. We yeah, actually have 60 days to approve this. 21 days from the submittal. Really? Yeah. Okay. You might, I think you might be thinking, John, is the adequate access and generation plan. That would be within 60 days from the close of the hearing. I'll make a motion to accept the plan. We have a motion from Don Ellis to accept the plan. Do I hear a second? No. Do I have any uh, any other motions? You can make a motion if you want. So did the uh, so we have a motion. Uh, I'll second the motion. <clears throat> so we have a, a motion to accept the uh, plan by Don Ellis and a second by myself, Kevin Cohen. So we, uh, all in favor of that? Aye. 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 So two, uh, one, zero. Correct? Right. I think we need uh, all three of you to yeah. approve this. Oh, okay. So it have to be a Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, so the uh, the motion wouldn't wouldn't carry then. So if somebody is it against it? Uh, yes, correct. Right. John, is against it. Any reason, John? Yeah, I, I have concerns that we have plans that require us to make sure that the uh, the wetlands have been delineated and um, from admittedly from the the uh, proponent that they have not done that. Is it note, doesn't note number seven note cover this for every time we've been in here, I believe. No official verification of any wetlands has been made or intended by the planning board endorsement. Right. So doesn't that say cover your planning board, the question you have about wetlands? Isn't no. that what that's on no, here for? We'll, we'll read it again. No official verification of any wetlands have been made or intended by planning board endorsement. So this is saying that if I approve this, then uh, I'm not approving the verification of the wetlands, right? That is correct. According to the regulations, right, you're supposed to provide us with proof that uh, the wetlands have been delineated. And I don't see anything. I, uh, that, that isn't part of your checklist. That's not part of the form A regulation. I, don't, I disagree. Where is that in, in the mass chapter that you have to, the wetlands have to be delineated and in your town? <clears throat> if it, if uh, you could get an opinion from... Town planner in that? Uh, he is correct. I mean, uh, are there any, I mean, I get what John is saying, but he's saying that there are no wetlands. Is there 
is it a requirement for the for a form A? Unfortunately, not. It's not a statutory requirement. It should be. You should have a requirement saying you have to have an an ANRAP maybe or an RDA done for every other. A lot if you should that. should be. But that's something that's not part of the regulations now. It technically needs to be standards required for the form A under the statute. I still think it's disingenuous to yeah, what well, scientists should have reviewed this. To make sure there's nothing there. So the homeowner yeah. has to pay. Yes. To have a wetland scientist mm -hmm. go to every time they have any homeowner if they were in the middle of a desert. I mean, it has to be some type of. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not buying the desert thing. You, you know as well as I do that you know you're not a wetland scientist, and you know just because you can go out there and go, yeah, I don't think it's a, it, it's a wetland, that doesn't make it so. Okay, that's well, we both know that. Okay. Okay. So you've, done, you've come before us on multiple occasions. In the and past. has there been made kickbacks since mm -hmm. I come before you with the plans and there was problems with them? Mm -hmm. I'm asking that question. I, I don't remember. Okay. But I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to make a point that you, know, um, you are not a, a wetland scientist and you have no right to say that there are no wetlands there because you've walked it with you and your friends. You know, I think there should be some empirical data that supports that. That's all I'm saying. Well, I didn't say you, my friends. I said actually with land surveyors that worked over 30 years in the field and also mm -hmm. an engineer. But they're not wetland scientists. But an engineer could right? actually yeah. could actually flag wetlands. Mm -hmm. But so. I see no flags. I don't see anything of any sort. So, you know, I got to wonder. Wait a minute. We pulled up the GIS. No. Nope. So, what? Done. Uh, I got a question for uh, Tam, Tom Planner. <clears throat> Doesn't the these are empty form A would be empty form A lots, and when they apply for a building permit, don't they have to go to conservation at that time and and uh, board of health and everything else on that? Wouldn't that cover it? They have to get sign off for conservation. Right. To get a building permit. Correct. Isn't that why it's not a a mandatory? In the subdivisions, it's the same way. You well, know. I mean, that's it's that's the other check you have is that in order to build on them, they're going to have to get conservation approval. And obviously, he has a building permit. Is that satisfy for you? So, does, does it, let me ask Jump a permit. question. Does the checklist say in it, are there any wetlands on on site? They do not. So it says nothing about wetlands on there. The only reason we show the wellness is because it's a zoning requirement. Mm -hmm. If they're there. Right. You do have, it says delineation of those wellness if they are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how will we determine that they're not there? That's my point. Right? So if it says in the regulations that, you know, uh, we should be seeing something saying that there are no wetlands there. And I'm asking the question, who is a wetland scientist who determined that there were no wetlands there? I think and we don't have that answer. That's for conservation, not you to make a determination on that. I'm but sorry, uh, you that. haven't been recognized, right? No, so uh, that's okay. the chair that can recognize if he so chooses. If you could state your name. Okay. Gary Lundgren. Gary Lundgren. I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. I, I'm guessing that when you go for the building permit, that's when conservation comes in and says wetlands, no wetlands. That lot that I'm building the house on has already been, there's no wetlands there because it's an approved lot. On the other plate, the other lot, I forget which one's which, number two, when that goes to be, uh, have a building permit, that's when conservation says, no, you can't because it's wetlands, or yes, you can. We're not asking you to make that determination and it basically states in that that by giving us the separation of the two lots, you're not making any statement saying wetlands or not. It's not in your wheelhouse. Am I right? It's not in the, in, in the planning board's wheelhouse, but that's in conservation's wheelhouse. Well, I, I think maybe you weren't, you weren't listening. Right? No, I wasn't uh, uh, I'm saying that you're making the assertion, right? That uh, under under the rules of adequate access, it says 
are there any wetlands on site, right? right. And uh, I was told no, right? right? So I'm asking for definitive proof that that's true. But that's not well, on your checklist. How about this, John? I, I'm asking an obvious question. I mean, I think John, that's a legitimate this is, question. Well, this is okay. one possible. John, John you finish? Yeah, go ahead, John. Yes, one possibility, okay. John. We've got a building permit. That means it went through conservation. There were no issues for the whole parcel as it stands. Now we're cutting it in half. So it shouldn't matter then, right? Because obviously there's no wetlands. Well, I'm confused why, why the Conservation Commission didn't require uh, somebody with uh, credentials in order to uh, support that contention. I mean, this is a contention that you're making. You're saying that there are no wetlands on site, right? But yet you have no evidence to prove that or support that, right? That's the point that I'm trying to make. And if you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I can understand that, but it also, mm -hmm. isn't that the conservation's scope? No. It, no, it's it, not. It's Wait, just, I thought you were on conservation. It says, it says right in that hand, right, right, that this thing that you're asking for, whatever the hell it is, right, it says on the checklist, are there any wetlands on site, right? And you tell me no. So I ask you, uh, what's, what's, what evidence do you have to support that? And you say you have none. You had a bunch of guys walk around and they all feel it's okay. So, just asking the obvious question. I think it's a legitimate question. Right? You may not think so because you just want to get out of here tonight. No, I don't so, uh, no. yeah. I just I just find it hard to prove something that's not there. How I have to, since it's not, if it was on your checklist and it said. That's just, you're just going to go with circles because what? You know, you're saying, a, and I'm it's saying not on your a, checklist saying, if you say, go to a botanist, have a botanist check the site out, if that was a requirement of the That's not what I'm saying. That would I'm have been not done. asking for requirements. I'm not insisting. It. I'm simply you're asking you a question. No, you want him to? I'm not changing the rules. I'm, I'm asking you a simple question. Do you rules. have empirical data to support the contention that there's no that's weapons on talk. site? That's not your that's, job. Yes, it is. No, it, it says it right in there. No, it doesn't. That is a buildable lot. Well, you know, no you say tomato, I say tomato. I'm <clears> telling <throat> you, that's what I think. And I'm entitled to my opinion. You are. Yes, I am. But it's a, yep. it's a, if it's a buildable lot, somebody's already said there's no wetlands. If it's a buildable lot, it would be on there. So if it was already a buildable lot and it was approved by conservation, I would assume that there was some kind of a, um, uh, an investigation as to whether there were wetlands there. I, would I think, see nothing. I would think conservation probably would have looked at the G Mass GIS. And taken a look at it and saw that there was nothing on on that area, mm -hmm. and then maybe assigned it. Maybe they knew the, the lot itself too, and maybe they took a walk. I can't even tell you because I wasn't involved in that process to know what what on that building permit. So I, I, you know, actually, I don't even know why you bothered to argue with me because if I don't vote for this, you're going to get it anyway. So what's the why bother arguing with me? Is that true? Could we extend the time period to come back when there's five members and not three, and one was against everything all the time? The next meeting would be July the 10th. Uh, the expectation would be most likely five members. If you'd be willing to extend bring the planning board additional time and bring in a report from a body saying there's no, I walked the property and there was no weapons, is that, would that be sufficient? If, if, if you have five members here and you don't bring in the bodies and the other two members see it in a different light, what the agenda would do? Well, right now you have, you could withdraw it, you could ask just get an extension, or you could appeal it if they vote. They could do a new motion to extend, extend if you're willing to extend the time. Time. So, I'm, so I'm hearing uh, extension of the time. 
So, wait, wait, so you, you made a motion and a vote. So we're going to re we'll retract the, um, Don, are you willing to retract your motion? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Okay, so Don's retracting his, his motion, retracting, and we're willing to do a extension. Would that be 21 days? That would be, if the, uh, Until the next meeting? The next meeting would be July 10th. Yeah. <clears throat> I have an extension form if you want to go out and sign that. Sure. No motion needed for an extension, correct? No motion for uh, extension. I would think you should make a motion to extend. Okay, so entertain a motion for extension. I'll second that. Okay, uh, a, a mo motion by John Kemet to extend and seconded by Don Ellis. All in favor of that motion? Uh, yes. So three, zero. <laughs> so extension will be for the uh, next meeting on July 10th. Yes. So I would say, Gary, just have a report on July 10th. Well, get it earlier, send it to me. Okay. Uh, get it beforehand, and then I can pass that along to the board. Just a report saying that there are no weapons on the site. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on <clears throat> uh, to board business. We our next meeting is scheduled for July tenth, twenty twenty three. Okay. Yep. Great. Uh, administration. Uh, Tom Blaine or update. Captain Boise of the W B Mason. Uh, it's end of the year. This one year is going to be okay. This week, so we have to get all our invoices in. So I just need the board. We need all three members to sign. Please. Vice chair can't just sign. Uh, <laughs> I think okay. we only voted for the chair. No, yeah. we haven't. We haven't reached that point yet. Maybe July 10th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was the only invoice. Okay. Uh, next planning board. July 10th, the, that's official. <laughs> and uh, any other update? Anything? All right, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. I'll make the motion. John to Ellis made the motion to adjourn. Yeah, I'm glad you John Ellis, second. All in favor? Aye. Three, zero, to adjourn. Yeah, thank you for the We are now adjourned. <laughs>